Hello, welcome to this week's SBL Academy Assembly with me, Mr. Jones. Um, today I'm going to be talking about changes in technology and the, the impact on society. But before I get to that, uh, I just thought it would be a good idea to talk a little bit about the remote learning, which I know you're all doing at the moment. Uh, so I'm sure you all know where the remote learning can be accessed. Uh, and it's really important that, that, you're, that you're doing all of those lessons that are being set for you. If you have any issues at all, with, with accessing the remote learning, then please do use our, our new Parent Carer IT Help Desk uh, and we'll always endeavour to solve uh, issues as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, it's obviously at this very difficult time really important that we're looking after each other and that includes kind of sharing devices nicely between uh, members of, of, of families um, and uh, I think just, just looking out for each other. For exam year groups, it really is business as usual and it's crucially important that you engage with all of your remote learning and you continue to work as hard as you possibly can all the way through to the summer when you will have centre assessed grades calculated for you. Uh, and obviously it's really important that you continue to make uh, that really impressive progress that you were making prior to lockdown. Very soon we're going to be launching live lessons and this will give you an opportunity to interact with your teachers live online. Uh, they will be able to ask you questions and they'll be able to further help with the progress that you're making. Before I move on to, to today's assembly topic as well, I'd like to um, uh, just introduce our successful year group leader candidates. Um, prior to the Christmas holiday, we held elections and these 19 students uh, were successful as uh, our new year group leaders. Uh, obviously we already have a team of uh, year 11 uh, student leaders uh, and they will work with this group of young people and I'm looking forward to hopefully us all meeting uh, remotely very soon to talk all about uh, to talk about all of their ideas for improving the academy further. Okay so on to today's assembly. Um, I've listed a few of the areas that I'm going to talk about down the left hand side of the screen there. Uh, ver the various ways in which technology uh, continues to change and the impact that that has on on society. Um, sometimes the technological change can be uh, imperceptible. We don't we don't even notice it happening uh, before suddenly we have things like uh, an extremely pow powerful computer that we carry around in our pockets every day in the form of uh, a smartphone. And sometimes there are are more are technological leaps, if you like, giant steps forward that that change all of our our lives. Some of the ideas in, in science fiction films don't always come to fruition. For example, uh, back when I was a kid, we all watched this film, Back to the Future, and we were told we'd all be uh, flying around on, on hoverboards. Uh, and they haven't quite come to fruition yet, but um, very similar technology uh, now exists. I, I saw this news report on, on, the, on the television the other day uh, about mount, mountain rescue teams who are using jetpacks to quickly climb, climb mountains and access people who are, are in distress. Uh, absolutely amazing technology that, that can obviously be used uh, for great good. So I'm going to start by talking about social media. Uh, social media has undoubtedly had a, a huge effect on, on all of our lives uh, and I suppose fundamentally social media helps to, to bring people together uh, which can be a very uh, positive thing. An, an example of where social media has been used to, to, to bring people together in such a way uh, was the Arab Spring in which the people of various nations uh, actually uh, rose up and, and protested against um, oppressive regimes. And it was actually Twitter, which was the method of communication, which enabled a lot of that to, to happen. I suppose the flip side of this is that Twitter and other social media sites can be used to get people together for the wrong reasons, if you like, and to spread what we call fake news. And that puts Twitter in a very difficult position of having to decide whether they need to signpost certain things as being fake news or whether they even need to censor things if they feel that certain tweets are inciting violence or hatred. In terms of mental health, social media has a, a huge impact on that as well. Uh, at times like this, social media is actually can be a, a, a real positive to many, in many people's lives as it, as it helps keep them connected uh, as, as most of us uh, stay at home. Um, but also social media has been shown to, to sometimes have negative effects on mental health. This might be through constantly looking at photos of, of um, 
friends and family having what looks like a, a fantastic time um, in their own lives um, and that can make people feel isolated. Uh, I think it's important to, to recognise that actually uh, the way that people's lives look on social media is not always uh, a true reflection of, of how their lives actually are. Uh, so moving on to big data. Big data is essentially the analysis and the use of, of huge um, pools of data and is helping governments to um, work more effectively in a, in a variety of, of different areas. Uh, transportation, healthcare, education, agriculture and, and poverty. Um, for example, if we have big data regarding how people move around the country, that can affect um, transportation policy and um, whether the government decide to develop train lines or roads and, and things like that. Uh, on the flip side of that, data can also be misused. There was a huge scandal in which the, the organisation Cambridge Analytica uh, were found to have, have been sold data of Facebook users uh, and then targeted political adverts uh, at, those, at those users. Um, every time we uh, accept cookies on our, on our computers, data of our, our search patterns is then shared with, with other companies and that can lead to then pop-up adverts or adverts that are tailored to us and, and what uh, companies think that we might like to buy. Uh, and that raises privacy concerns for some people uh, that companies are, are collecting uh, large sets of, of data uh, on all of us as individuals. So the world of work um, obviously is impacted hugely by technology. Um, the types of jobs that, that people now do haven't changed as much as, as perhaps was thought 10, 20, 30 years ago. Uh, but what certainly changed is, is the way in which um, people now are able to carry out those jobs uh, and the, the, the skills that they need in order to do so. From technology is now a huge part of, of our job as teachers. Uh, I'm delivering this assembly to you via a video link, uh, which um, teachers uh, in the past would, would never have, have needed to or been able to do. So moving on to artificial intelligence now, I've actually covered this in quite a lot of what I've already said actually because artificial intelligence uh, is involved in things like personalising ads to appear that appear for us online, um, things like um, job adverts appearing based on all of the data that, that companies hold online. Um, artificial intelligence can be quite basic in, in things like uh, an automatic hoover which will sense where there's a wall and change direction. And it can be much more advanced where the, the Hoover might learn about the, the layout of a room um, and plan in advance what's it, what it's going to do. And similarly, things like Siri and Alexa, those digital assistants, if you like, um, they can actually learn when we tell them that they've made a mistake in, in some sort of uh, search or, or job that they've done for us. They can learn from that uh, and then not make the same mistake in, in the future. So. Artificial intelligence is becoming more and more powerful. So I'm just going to go through uh, a few other areas of technology um, that continue to impact on our lives in, in, in really positive ways. Biotechnology is essentially the manipulation of, of biology uh, to, to carry out various tasks for us. For example, the genetic engineering of bacteria to produce things like insulin for people with diabetes and up to the uh, the new Pfizer mRNA COVID-19 vaccine, which actually involves mRNA instructing the body how to make certain proteins that will fight the virus. So it doesn't work in the same way as a kind of the traditional vaccines that we that we use. Um, nanotechnology is the use of really really small things to perform various functions. A nanometer is a is a millionth of a centimeter and really small things can be used to, to really improve our, our lives, to things like improving water quality and air quality. Carbon nanotubes can be used to make really strong and really light sporting goods uh, and maybe in the future really light spaceships that could make uh, really extensive space travel uh, possible. Um, nanotechnology is really important in medicine as well. In, in biology we learn about monoclonal antibodies which we can inject into the body and they can actually target cancer cells uh, and then they can kill them. And that's obviously uh, medicine at an absolutely microscopic level. 
So a couple of things um, that we that may be on the horizon in terms of technological advancement. Um, it's been in the news a lot recently about Amazon uh, currently trialing their delivery drones. So it may be that rather than a delivery van in the future, one of these turns up at your doorstep with your with your Amazon delivery um, and also driverless cars. The, the technology for driverless cars is, is pretty much there. What's the only thing, one of the only things that's, that's currently holding it up um, is the argument around uh, who would be responsible if there were accidents involving driverless cars in terms of insurance and, and, and payouts and things like that. But the technology is there and in the future, um, this could be something that becomes quite normal uh, to all of us. So thank you very much for listening to today's assembly. I hope you found it interesting. As I said at the beginning, it's really important that you're working really hard and continuing to do your absolute best with all of your, your remote lessons. Um, if you have any problems at all accessing any of your remote learning, please do let us know. For exam year groups, it really is business as usual. Please continue um, to, to work as hard as you possibly can uh, and contact your teachers if you have any issues at all. Um, and finally, it's just, just for me to say, please look after yourselves at this difficult time and please also look after each other.